Hi everybody, this is Shona. Hi guys, I'm Shona and this is Ring of Light Crafts. I um, wasn't going to do a live right now, but I wanted to show you the new alt that came into what my daughter does with schooling. Um, this is for um, what they call alt hop. I just want to show you some of the beautiful work. So let me sh switch you over. And here we go. So this one alt hop is from 6 to 8 p.m. I don't see the date. It could have passed. I really don't know. But I wanted to at least show you guys the work. This is watercolor. Beautiful. Love the details. Look at the eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is what you call pastels. So, hi Jane. How's mom? Hope she's doing better. This is pastels. Look at his eyes. Kind of freaky. I absolutely love it. Wonderful, wonderful work. And this one here is watercolor. And this shows some of the names and stuff. Let me just show you that real fast. Since I'm not naming off who painted what, I want to at least show you. All right, well, let's go back up to this one. This is also pastels. Let me back up so you can see the whole beauty of it. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the detail. Look at the glasses. See, you don't really see lines of glasses underneath or anything. But you back up, pull back, and look how wonderful that is. Beautiful, beautiful work. Great detail. And not perfect, you guys. So try to get away from trying to do everything perfect. Sometimes, some people were saying, look, it's a scribble. But when you pull out and you look at the whole thing, it's absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful work. That's pastels. This one here is also pastels. Isn't she beautiful? Let me get a better hold of my phone, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Isn't she beautiful? Gorgeous work. And here, this one here, I want to say these are both pastels. I love this one. Isn't that gorgeous? These two, I think, are some of my favorites right now. Let's look at the other one. For those that think this one's inappropriate, I'm sorry, but she is, technically, she is clothed. So, heads up, in case you've got little wee ones, but technically, she does have clothing on. And this, too, is pastels. Hi, Melissa. We're showing some of the artwork that is being at the IHOP, or oh, the art hop. Isn't she pretty? She is technically wearing clothes, guys. Oh, I wouldn't have shown them. Now, look at this gentleman here. Isn't that beautiful? Now, let's get closer up. Now, I can see other details in there. Another scene that probably wasn't intended with my eyes. I can see it. Um, I will point it out. Can anybody see the other detail in there? Which is like a whole other picture. Just around that area. But look how beautiful all together that is. Amazing. That's um, watercolor. This one here is also watercolor. This is a self-portrait. This is the only thing I remember of this one. Is this a self-portrait. At least if I hope I'm right. I don't want to say it wrong. But now let me pull it out. Now look at that. Isn't it beautiful, you guys? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, once again, this is pastels. Isn't he or she beautiful? Because a short hair doesn't mean it's a man or a woman. Not anymore these days. But look how gorgeous this is. And I want to show you something. The hands and the arms are totally abstract. They're not perfect. They are not in great detail. It's just an idea that you know where his arm's going or her arm. Now let's back up and I want you to look at the whole thing together. Beautiful. What do you think, you guys? I love it. So let me get our names and stuff here for a second. Give you an idea. Here we go. Let's see the last one. Is the last one? And so, okay. It is pastels. This day. Amazing. So I guess it is a gentleman. And then there's this young man here. I gotta switch hands. Sorry, guys. My arm's killing me. 
Look at the details in that face. I actually know this young man. I can't think of who he is, but I know him. I love that. Now this one looks like a friend, friend of mine's husband in a way. In a way, not per, not totally. Just reminds me of him, I should say. I want you to look at this eye. Isn't that eye amazing? This too is done with pastels. Look at the face, look at, it's like the scribbles in the build. I mean, the whole point of all you guys is to express what you see and how you feel. Okay, so look, some people say, oh, that's just scribbling. The kid did that. Well, now let's pull it away. Look how beautiful that work is. Absolutely amazing work. Just amazing. Love, I just love his eyes. Look at those eyes. Gorgeous work. Now, here's the last one. This is watercolor. Very nice. I like the eyes. I love eyes, in case you guys haven't noticed. Look at the eyes, but look come down to the detail. And look at the hands. You got close, you can see not really great detail, but you pull it back, the whole just of the picture, and it's perfect. You just got to realize that everything in art isn't like the perfect line. I mean, look at Leonardo, look at um, Da Vinci. Not everything was perfect, perfect lines if you look at it close. But if you look at it at a fall as a way people want you to perceive it, isn't that gorgeous? Now let's go closer. Look at the lines. That's just a marker paint added on top. No great shading or nothing in those parts, but putting it all together, and it's beautiful. Now once again, here's what they are and the people and the prices of them. And the gentleman with the eyes that I kept saying I love the eyes. Um, hi, Jolene. Those people are, that person's name is Richard. And he's pastels, like I said. Thank God I was right, huh? But I just love him. Look at the ear. I mean, it's just amazing work, you guys. So as you can see, not everything has to be perfect. So people will think, oh, I gotta buy this, I have to have this. Sometimes if something is perfect, it just isn't showing the true beauty of what it is, is what I'm trying to express. To see, it's unfinished, some people would say. But if you pull it back and you look at it, it's finished, it's gorgeous. Amazing work, great artists. Oh, I'm glad you're doing well, Jolene. I'm at Jolene's class right now. Oops. We'll just back up real fast and show you guys some of this. So uh, once again, this place is in Fresno, California, and they do IHOP, Art, A-R-T, Art Hop, here. And this is some of the work. Now most people would say, once again, someone scribbled on it. Pull it back and look at it. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love the detail in the eyes and the cheek. Absolutely beautiful. Great detail. Look at those eyes. That's what it looks like close up, you guys. Gorgeous. Pull it out. Absolutely beautiful. Let me tell you, I would have all these paintings hanging on my wall if I could afford it. Absolutely. Once again, this is another pastels. We'll go across real fast because some people might get offended, which I understand, but to me it's still beautiful art. I know this man too. I've seen him. I can't, I just can't place where I know him from. Look at all those marks and look how beautiful they're all put together, made of gorgeous uh, photo or painting. And this lady the same amazing work these people did. I have to say probably one of my favorites just because I love the look on the face. Kind of like, hmm, can you figure out who I am type attitude. I love this. I don't know what this person is really thinking, but I love that. Oh, I'll have to do this one real fast. 
you see that for those who just came in. And then we'll go right back up here. We're almost done. We'll show the last three again. Once again, that's watercolor. This is pastels. I gotta back up. You gotta see his whole beauty of this one. It's like I said, I would have all these on my walls if I could afford them. <laughs> Beautiful work. Great, great detail. Look at the nose. Absolutely gorgeous. It makes it look like it's actually 3D nose. The ears. In reality, it's drawn on a flat piece of paper. And it's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful work. That might actually be a signature in there. I knew this one artist. He would draw all his drawings. He was amazing, guys. Oh my God, give him a piece of garbage paper and he can draw you the most beautiful painting or drawings you'll ever see. And his name was Spider. So his signature, believe it or not, was a Spider, which he always hid someplace on his paintings. So in order to find out who painted it, you had to really, really, really get very close up. There he is, I just love that very close up like this and literally look through every little detail like right there whoops every little detail and try to find the signature which his would be a drawing of an amazing spider absolutely gorgeous so I just wanted to show you guys since they changed them out for the next one coming through unless it already passed but once again you can probably contact people um, from this gallery here uh, Doris Gallery I think you said I don't have my glasses on but anyways you can probably contact them and request any information on any of these drawings or paintings if you will which one or any of them if you're interested I just love these guys. Let me show you this gentleman. This one's one of my favorite. Real fast, we'll end it here. Absolute gorgeous. I love this, just love this. And of course, I love the nude lady. Well, she ain't nude, guys. But let me get back to this one, and then I'll call it quits. I just, something about him. Wonderful, beautiful work, you guys. So as always, this, I'm Shauna, and this is Ring of Light Crafts, and this is what you call IHOP in Fresno, California. This is just some of the amazing work they have. Um, IHOP, you literally go from one building to another that have paintings up, and you can see what the artists in the neighborhood have done. So, as always, you guys, thank you for joining me, and have a wonderful day, and as always, be blessed.